What's up, Meta Nerds? This video is all about the Night Watcher Worm, also known as the Arcanan Night Terrors and Sand Borers. They are native to Jakku, and not believed to be located anywhere else in the galaxy, as no one in their right mind would ever want to import one of them. Considered non-sentient, it had a similar intelligence to the Great Dragon and Dianoga, but below things like the Rancor and the Wampa. Their average lifespan is unknown, but when fully grown it would be 20 meters, or 66 feet, making it nearly half the length of the Crate Dragon and Jawa Sandcrawler, while being about six times the length of the X-34 Landspeeder. If one of these happened to be imported to Earth, it would be more than four times the length of the Honda Odyssey, and just a bit longer than a semi-truck. And if it wanted to claw up the side of a building, it would be about six stories tall. Their bodies were like enormous organic submarines, with a large cylindrical body traveling under the dune seas, and popping up its periscope-like head to survey its surroundings. Its red glowing eyes sought out any glimpses of metal, since the scrap that littered its homeworld since the Battle of Jakku made up nearly all of their diet. That being said, droids are also made of metal, and humans walk around with plenty of metal objects on them, so the Night Watcher's body was able to detect small vibrations and would shoot up out of the sand to swallow them whole. Its enormous mouth could gobble up several people and droids at once, with its maw containing several blue tongues and copious amounts of blue-colored saliva. They could be found all over Jakku, but preferred the areas around the sinking fields and the Gozon Badlands, making these areas practically off-limits after sunset, as they primarily hunted at night. The other problem was that they were nearly impossible to kill, not just because they were so elusive, but because they were covered in these segmented armor plates, while the body came to an end in these split tails, with several barbed attachments. Now, shortly after Rey freed BB-8 from Tito, as they were walking back to her home, they were set upon by a Night Watcher worm. It caught BB-8, but Rey was able to free him, and the two were able to stand safely on top of her home, the Hellhound 2. To make it leave, Rey had to throw it a piece of scrap metal. Tito still wanted the droid, so he showed up the next day with thugs to take him back. Rey was able to lead them on a chase back to the Imperial-class Star Destroyer that she had been scavenging earlier, and where she knew this Nightworm was likely to hang out. As Tito brought his speeder bike to a halt and prepared to fire on Rey, the Nightworm exploded up out of the sand to devour this delicious vehicle. Tito survived, but ran away terrified. So that's it for its history, but you definitely want to hear these cool facts and behind-the-scenes stuff. Rey writes in her journal that some could grow up to five to six times the average length, making it about 100 meters. This would make it one of the only creatures in the galaxy that was actually bigger than the Zillow Beast. J.J. Abrams really wanted this creature in the film, but they were running tight on production money, but one of the creature's designers said that he could make it for 100 quid, equal to $127, but in the end, Ivan Menzella made it over lunchtime, and for only 50 quid. The transcript for the movie says that this monster makes the noise that sounds like Kojima, a nod to Abrams' friend Hideo Kojima, who made the Metal Gear Solid franchise, and who would definitely love a creature like this. Its design comes from a mix of a tardigrade and the sandworms from Dune. And the reason why these are also called the Arconan Night Terrors is because the eyes are similar to the head of the unrelated Arcona species. Also, in Rey's AT-AT home, she had a lamp that was made from the casting of the eye stalks from this creature. So that's it for the Night Watcher Worm. If you want to connect with us, help support this channel, or get your own copies of the reference material used in this video, be sure to check out the links in the description. Special shout out to our supporters over on Patreon, but most important of all, remember, the Night Worm watches, and the Force will be with you, always.